Welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm going to give G flat, F sharp. And uh, today we're just going to be going over some talk music ideas, um, specifically using the major scale um, to, you know, to develop chord progressions. Okay, so um, yeah, let's just get started. So first thing we need to do is learn a scale. And um, basically, here's the idea of how you would be playing after this video. Um, basic stuff, but you know, talk music, right? So let's just get started. basic talk music is not like real flashy you know you're not throwing in you know real crazy chords but uh just basic talk stuff you know maybe a, maybe a seven three six two in there seven three six two five But um, yeah, that's the general idea, just being able to play um, with fluidity and stuff like that. So yeah, so that's the, uh, that's the objective of this video here. So let's just get started with the scale. Um, so key of G flat, here's the scale. So um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, okay. Uh, G flat, A flat, B flat, B, D flat, E flat, F, and then back to G flat, F sharp. Okay, and then you know you take that, master that, learn how to go up and down. Use those as your bass notes. Okay, and instead of saying a note, we'll just go with the numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Um, as bass notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Okay. So on our one, we play the one chord. Um, real simple, F sharp major. And we're gonna go from one all the way back to one. So one through seven. Um, one, two, on a two we're doing an A flat minor chord. Three, F sharp chord, four, D major chord, and you'll see me playing with different inversions. Doesn't matter the inversion, because we're gonna change how we play it anyway. Five, C sharp major, six, E flat minor, seven, C sharp major. Okay, and then back to your top. So one more time. One, this F sharp, two, Bring it out a little bit. Two is A flat minor. Three is F sharp uh, major. Over to three. Okay. So when I say the numbers, those are bas basically are bass notes. Four is the B major chord. Over to B bass. Five is C sharp chord. Over to C sharp bass. Six is E flat minor. Over to E flat bass. And then seven, lastly, is C sharp again, and then you start over. Okay, and then you just kind of master that. So, and uh, let's just start from the top. Uh, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. OK, 
Okay. Um, now, let's just say uh, we could just change a couple chords here. Maybe instead of on the two, instead of doing A flat minor, you could do an E major. If you want to, you could change it up a little bit. Okay. And then maybe on the six or the E flat, we do a minor. Maybe we could change that to a B major if you want. So let's go through that and see how they sound differently. E flat minor. E flat minor. E flat B major. B major. So just by changing those two chords, you get a different sound, okay? Okay, and I'm playing it fast, but if we play it slow, we almost got talk music, right? Okay, no tempo, just... You can kind of hear, um, just by just by using the major scale, you can, you can you could play some talk music. Um, let's let's talk about uh, let's talk about sound. Maybe um, you might just want to just use these two draw bars, especially for like really silent soft talk. Okay. And if they, you know, people start getting happy, maybe you could bring out the first four, or maybe the third white one. I mean, you could bring them all out. Okay, back to the A minor, A flat minor. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Um, make sure you're not you're not too loud, and make sure you're not too bright, and make sure you're not too mellow when you should be bright. Okay. Uh, secondly, let's talk about um, kind of the technique here. Um, instead of just, or maybe the voicing rather, instead of just kind of playing a chord. Okay. Let's change the voice and what you can do is um I'm hearing like some noises. So what you can do is uh instead of playing a chord like bare bones, you know, inversion one, two, and three or whatever, or root position one, two. Um you could change the voice in by just bringing a center note to the bottom. So and then it doesn't matter the inversion, okay? So root position, one, three, five, bring the center note to the bottom. Okay, center note to the bottom, center note to the bottom. And then practice all your chords that you just learned uh, doing that um, technique. So again, just bring the center note to the bottom and then gives you a different sound rather than and then it, it kind of frees up a, um, you know fingering too so you can you can move a little better because you're not hitting as many notes with one hand right it just gives it a different sound and then when you add the bass in Okay, you also see me hitting other notes. Those are just kind of like twos. So, uh, an example, you got your one, three, five. The 
the center note is a two. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? So when you bring the middle note to the bottom, you can add the two to the bottom or add the two up top. Okay? Now and you know it's just it's just kind of making a sound more making a chord more colorful okay so keep that in mind okay next let's talk about uh, technique so um, you don't have to play one through seven you know um, you know G flat to F or, or you know just don't play it in order just kind of kind of flow with it um, doesn't have to be written down just come off the top of the head with it so you can start on the one you can start on the four you can start on the six start somewhere and then just kind of play around with it or you could just throw random numbers out in your head so like four three one seven six four three five six seven three four five six Three, four, three, four, five, six, four, three. It's just like that, and it just makes it feel. Um, I guess it gives an emotional feel. It just makes it seem more natural rather than robotic. So uh, keep that in mind. Instead of just. Just don't play it. I stuck my camera here. One second. Yeah, so rather than playing it, you know, like that, just kind of. There we go. Um, rather than playing it in, you know, order, just kind of come off the top of the head with it. If you master chording with the left hand, you can kind of melody up top, and you ain't got to go crazy. You know, you could just. Yeah, you know. So those are just ideas. I'm um, just trying to think of other stuff I can throw at you guys, and you guys can kind of practice. And, um, you know, just, just to get that sound. Um, a lot of people ask me, like, bro, your sound. I'm like, I ain't really got no sound. I'm just, this is all I'm doing. And this is, this is just what it sounds like. So, um, yeah. Um, maybe you could throw in a chord progression every now and then. Let's talk about that. Um, two, one, seven, three, six, two. Those are just fourths, okay? Seven, three, six, two, five, one. So just fourths. So I mean, seven, three, six, two, five, one, four. You know, then maybe go back into your, you know, your your um your flow. Three, two, one, seven, three. Okay. So that's another idea. Um, yeah, anything else? Um, that's it man I mean I'm trying to keep it basic at the same time so I don't think I have much else um, so just a recap here learn a major scale use those as your base notes one two three four five six seven one okay get all your chords to it one two three four uh, I'm sorry one two three four five six seven one okay Master all the inversions of those chords. 
that way you can uh, you know give it, give it a different sound at different times um, change the voicing bring the center note to the bottom master all the chords that way okay watch your drop bar settings not too bright when you're not supposed to be and if you need to be bright make sure you're not too mellow sometimes you gotta you know give it some sound um, I recommend just doing like I said uh, the first one and the third one just to mellow it out and if you want a little bit of brightness you can do that you know and then when it's time to you know all four of them maybe maybe the first one two three four five six maybe all six of them here you know give it a different sound You know, you get the idea here. And, um, yeah, and lastly, throw in a chord progression, you know, seven, three, six, two. I got a playlist on that in every key. So if you need to learn those, um, check out the playlist and um, you'll find some chord progressions that you can use. Um, other than that, man, practice. I can show you, but, you know, it's, if you don't practice it, it ain't really going to help. What's the saying? Um, take them to the well, but you can't make them drink it. So, so yeah. Um, Like I said, hope you guys enjoy that. Check out um, the shorts. Uh, follow me on other social media platforms. Um, check out the website. I got some stuff out there you might want to see. Uh, making shirts, stuff like that. I have that linked in the description. And um, you guys take care and enjoy.